Hello everybody and welcome back to the old stream farm with me, Mr. Sim Gamer. Well, as you know, we left on a little bit of a cliffhanger because we got into a situation where we are not getting any other contracts other than bailing contracts. No matter how many times I clear and re-add and try and find new contracts, all we're getting is bailing contracts. Even though there, there were and have been harvestable land. So, at the end of the last episode, we kind of had a big decision to make. And that big decision was, what do we do now? Because we have no money. All, we would, all I would be doing is bailing contracts for the rest of our days. What we do have is 84 new baby sheep. Little lambs, absolutely adorable. And that is our, that's our hope, right? This is, this is where our future is, is laying in these little babies. We do have some more um, milk to sell, which is great, but it's definitely not going to keep us growing and thriving. What is even worse is that instead of us getting the contracts, the harvested or the potential to harvest the fields which were ready to harvest just withered. So something weird is going on here. I don't really know what it is. Um, but as I said in the last episode, I really don't want to leave here because I've just started. And I do really like this map. It's really nice. It's very beautiful. Um... So, I really, I don't want to. So I was having to think, and the only choice I really do have is to expand. And the only way I'm going to do that is by going to the bank. Now, when I started this game, I did the start from scratch, which gave me a huge debt of $200,000. Um, I only started the game with 750 quid my truck and a little suitcase full of clothes that's all i had we are making a dent into this uh loan got 162,109 left the remaining term is 29 months but we're going to need to add to this debt which is scary because we're already making repayments of 5948 but what are we going to do? What, what, what choice do we have? So I'm thinking, okay, guys, I apologize. I had a little issue with my recordings um, and I was also having issues with the advanced mod um the advanced banking mod so i've disabled that come back in and borrowed money in the direct finances like you normally would in base game i've taken out three hundred thousand, and let me show you what i've done so far i apologize i didn't realize that my recording had stopped and that was when i was typing in the numbers of course which was a little bit daft of me um, but I have purchased field 7, field 6, and field 8. Now, 6 has withered potatoes, 7 has nothing, but it does have some stones. Field 8 has grass ready to be cut. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back out of the game. Uh, I'm going to have a look at some mods, because we don't... Depending on how much more money we're going to borrow, is dependent on what we can purchase we still don't have a tractor remember um i think the best thing we could do is sell our truck so that we've got a little bit of extra money so that would be oops wrong menu how much can we get for it Twenty-one thousand. yeah let's do that and three thousand six hundred and forty two let's do that um i'm gonna get rid of our chainsaw as well that's our caravan so we have 154,230, which doesn't really leave us with much. We have nothing. Zilch. So 
I'm gonna go and have a look at some mods and I will see you back here in a little bit. Well, welcome back everybody and I have downloaded a lot of mods for us to jump straight into and have a look at um, two of them being Fiat's. So I've got the Fiat Agri. Um, this is quite a good potential. It can go up to 160 miles an hour. Um, horsepower, sorry, 160 horsepower. Uh, that would take it up to 41,500. So this is a possibility. I also found this little one. Um, it's got a little bit of hunk under the junk. <laughs> Um, only 132 horsepower, but it's 24,000. So that was quite appealing when I was taking a look. Um, let me show you some other things that I've downloaded. Oh, there's so much. Um, this is another one, but again, a little bit too expensive for what I'm looking for. Um, that's 58,000. So... I need to see what I'm going to buy and take it from there. So <clears throat> I've downloaded a couple of um, balers, a little bit cheaper balers. A couple here, um, so 125 centimeters. That's the only thing. And I've also downloaded a couple of bell wrappers, and I'm going to go into the main section now because it's going to help me just to see where we are. Um, let me go to Bell Wrappers. And I've downloaded these two. So, again, quite interesting. Different prices. This one can do up to 150. But, to be honest, it's probably going to be more likely that we use this one. Um, we could put this on the front as well. Oh, actually, this one does 125 to 150. So that's pretty good. Full colour, we can change. So I think that's 15 grand. I think that's about right. So 125 to 150 uh, round bales. And then I'm going to get this little um, bell carrier. So we're going to buy that, then we're going to I'm going to get this one here with the three point. I'm just going to make this black as well. So I'm going to buy that, then we need we do need a mower as well, I know. Baler wise, let's have a look at the options we've got. Um, this is the cheapest, but not the right shape that we need. Um, it's probably going to be 30 grand, I think. Well, there's 20 here. This one's 20, isn't it? Speed limit. What's well, upstairs in the corner? Mean down in the middle? None. Bit odd. But this only needs forty-five horsepower. So again, that's a decent purchase. So this one needs. It doesn't actually say about the horsepower requirements on that. So we should be okay for that. Okay, so that's 54,000 spent already. So now we need to look at um, a mower. And then that's section done. That makes sense. Right, mowers. I'm not sure I downloaded any, stupidly. Um, I didn't download any different mowers. Okay, so I'll come back to the mowers in a second. Cultivators, I've got this little one, these two here, 3 meter, 3.5, so I'm going to go for the 3 meter, only needs 15 horsepower um, for 500 quid, getting that. Um, cedars, 
Where are we? Right. This is the one I have my eye on. The only thing is it's only 600 litres. Um, but it's 13,000. So that's a pretty decent price, to be honest. Um, and it's quite a good width. And the other thing I liked is it only needs 600 horsepower. So I think we're going to go with this one to start us off. 13 grand. Um, yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Then we need... Uh, oh, yeah, well, we need the tractor. And it's either going to be this little Fiat Agri, um, Fiat, sorry, this isn't the Fiat Agri, this is a rebuild. So that's 24,000. And the starting oomph, shall we say, is uh, 132 by the looks of it. So 132. And we can get it up to 185 for just 26,100. So... That's pretty good. Um, the other option is the Ford that we looked at, which is this one here. Um, that's 130, and it's already 29,000. So I think, I think we go for the uh, the Fiat. This one. Black cab, orange and orange rims. Ooh, a little bit much, isn't it? I quite like the orange with the white. Um, let's have a look. I shouldn't really be spending any more money on wheels. front hydraulic and PTO that is definitely worth it let's put that on no keep that to black okay so this is our new tractor 27,770 185 horsepower I mean it only goes 15 miles an hour but what I'm not sure what other options we got. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Oh. This is a lot of purchases. Um, so now I just need to go and download a different mower. In fact, let's do that together. Let's go to the mod hub together and have a look. I'm just going to use the in-game mod hub for now. <coughs> First to go look at. Uh, we need something cheap. We need something cheap. And... Be honest, we could do with it being small. Uh, let's have a look at this one. That's a vulture. Okay, fourteen thousand five hundred. Three meter width. That's not too bad. Quite a lot available in here. Um, no, definitely not. The other one's better, width-wise. Expect this is going to be more expensive. Oh, only eight and a half. Three meters, fifty-five horsepower. That's not too bad. But that the other one we looked at, where is it? 
Oh gosh, which one was it? Was that one? No. This one? Oh my goodness, which one did we look at? Aha, this one. Yeah. So that's 3 metre, 14 and a half. So this one down here being 3 metre, 8 and a half, it's much better. Yeah, let's install that. Let's get this one. That makes perfect sense to me. Price-wise, that's good. Let's just check there's nothing else. Two thousand one hundred and three point four. That's even better. Wider and cheaper. Why wouldn't I do that? Right, let's uh, go through the mods. Let's find them. I have deactivated the advanced um, loan for now, so I don't want any issues. Okay, that's the cheap one, isn't it? Yep, there we go. Um, <clears throat> I don't want any issues now that I've got the other um, gosh, my brain. Apologies, everybody. Now I've got the other loan. So we took out the 300,000 loan. Okay. So let's now purchase our new mower, which isn't very pretty, but it will do the job. Uh, mowers, 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 mowers. There we go. All the way to the end, it should be. There we go. Um, yeah, we'll keep it red, I think. And we will need a wind rower as well, just thinking about it, and I haven't downloaded one of those either. Well done, Mrs. Sim Gamer. We could just get a although I don't like those ones that push it to the side. The icky. Icky icky icky. I don't like them. But let's go and have a look first of all at all our new gear. Okay. This is not bad. Do you know what? I think I'm going to go into flight mode and take a little picture. This is all our new gear, look. But it's a start, right? That's the whole point. Look. Right, let's jump in this tractor and have a look. Old school. Ooh. So far, so good. I like. Okay. So we've got, we do have our cedar. I haven't yet, um, did I not put the front attacher on here? Or is that going to need a front loader? So if it does, that puts our ideas at risk. I thought I put a front PTO on this. Whoops, oh gosh. PTO on. Yeah, the PTO is there. So why didn't it? Why didn't it go to the front? Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. Right. So, I'm going to start moving this equipment up to the farm. Uh, we do have more things to buy.
but we're making a good start. I mean, the equipment is not great. But it's also not bad. It's not terrible, is it? Let's face it. So this field here, field eight, is ours. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, sorry. Sorry, so sorry. Yes, I know. I have apologised mean okay I just want to see how this mower does oh, yeah oh that's good it's perfect that really is perfect okay right so that's that in fact, let me pop, I'll turn it off and just drop it there. I'm not too worried because we do own this field here as well, so I'm going to um, just drive over this. Actually, I probably should have just left this down there, you know. That's where we're going to be using it. It's a bit bumpy ride. Slower. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll get to work and uh, bring these bits over. I also need to download a decent yet yeah, cheap wind rower. Woo! Woo Nearly went over then. That would have been a disaster. I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> so yeah, I went on a bit of a shopping spree and we only have fifty-eight left in the bank. So I'm just gonna do a bit of tidying up. So this is our cultivator with our cedar which I'm really happy with this is the wind row I ended up getting which is fabulous um 3.5 meter width as well so it works a dream this is the um bell loader perfect for us then we have our beautiful uh new baler we have a fertilizer and lime spreader. This one also can do manure, apparently. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I've had delivered two bags of lime. I've got here some wheat seeds. So we're going to put wheat in. Um, here we have some fert, some fertilizer. And last but not least, this cost me 31,000 plus 6,500 for the header has tiny capacity but it's a really good starting point i mean we don't have a trailer or anything just yet so we still do have quite a bit of a way to go also only having 30 sorry 58 quid in the bank we are a little bit on the uh tight side and we do have to get these seeds in now there is no other option um the seed if you look at the crop calendar um let's go down to the crop calendar october is the last day so what i'm going to do is get these seeds in the ground regardless of anything right now whoopsie daisy gosh come on nice thing is this actually does do fertilizer at the same time i'll have to lime and everything later but the most important thing right now is to get um the fertilizer and the seeds on the ground so we get something at least let me just get this reversed up again 
maximum. Bear with me. <clears throat> Hopefully this is okay. This is the the add-on pack where you only have specific um, specific seeds. Open the cover and see if I can tip it in. Okay, does this not accept these type of seeds? This mod. Sugar. Now that is a problem. I don't have enough money to buy more seeds. I'm going to have to take out another loan. Not ideal. Okay, right, let's just put the shop there. Let's see if it is a problem with the seed bags. To show you, I, I've i got the advanced seed add-on. So the idea is that you get seeds for canola and cotton and whatever you're doing rather than just an all-in-one. That was the idea anyway. Um, so let's just get normal seeds and see what happens. Okay, so it is a problem with that particular mod then. close that cover. Now for the life of me I do not remember if this is a direct drill or not. So I'm just going to put it down. Let's find out. Yes it is a direct drill. So we don't need to necessarily cultivate. I should. Is that going in? It is going in, isn't it? Okay. The other thing I need to do is scan the land. So I'm going to borrow scanner and do a couple of samples as well. that there a second uh let's actually was some here let's check this again still no isn't it yep still bailing odd really really odd 
Okay. The scanner I am looking for is in here somewhere. I'm pretty sure I've got the big one in here. There it is. We are just going to borrow this one. Release it. And before I go any further, let me just attach that and we'll we'll get this done. Looks like I'm going to get all mine done all in one. Oh, it's just number eight that won't get done. Okay. So if I come this way a little bit more. And that is everything all in one right there. Yes. Thank you. Oops, he doesn't mean to fold it. So the offer analysis. And let's just check everything we've got. Yeah. Good. Okay, let's send that back. Select return forgot we had these on higher as well so let's just go and have a look at what soil we have we have loamy sand and sandy loam okay not the best not the worst Everything could always be just that little bit better. That's for sure. But I'll tell you what. This has been a long episode. Hasn't it, guys? It's been a long episode. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed my choices and what I've picked. We've spent 300 grand. Which is madness. Um, and uh, let's see what we can build with what we've created right here on the old stream farm if you've enjoyed this video hit that like button and if you haven't done so already subscribe to my channel for more videos like this on farming simulator 2 i'll see you in the next one bye for now